Bernie Sanders taking a big win among the Democratic candidates in the Nevada caucuses over the weekend. But his opponents are not giving up as they look ahead to the South Carolina primary. Fox News correspondent Ray Bogan reports from D.C. Presidential candidates are heading to South Carolina trying to win votes before Saturday's primary. Former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg made his pitch at the picket line. No matter who you support, I support you. But after a victory in Nevada, Bernie Sanders has now taken a clear lead. My God, there are a lot of people here tonight. He was in Texas celebrating. And this country belongs to all of us, not a handful of billionaires. Sanders has a habit of criticizing the ultra-rich, including Mike Bloomberg who is yet to appear on a ballot and won't until Super Tuesday, March 3rd. Yet, candidates are focusing their attacks on the former mayor. I think that Michael Bloomberg is the riskiest candidate standing on that stage. The race is coming down between Mike Bloomberg and Bernie Sanders, and we know that we have to defeat Donald Trump in November, and the only candidate that can do that is Mike. Bloomberg's campaign office in Chicago was vandalized over the weekend, it's the third office hit in less than a week. The word oligarch was spray painted on the window. Campaign manager Kevin Sheiky stated, while we do not know who is directly responsible, we do know Senator Bernie Sanders and his campaign have repeatedly invoked this language and the word oligarch. The candidates will have one more chance to debate before the primary Tuesday night. In Washington, Ray Bogan, Fox 23 News.